What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video in today's Rad Movie Review for Joker Foley Adu. And this one I'm quite excited to talk about because I'm telling you right now that in terms of the vast majority of people and the way they're leaning on this film in terms of they think it's completely awful or they hate it or they didn't know it was going to be a musical... I land on the complete opposite of the spectrum. I don't love this film, but I do really like this film, and I'm going to tell you some reasons why I enjoy this film, positives and stuff like that, but this film isn't without negatives. There are some negatives as well, so let's get down to this. Roll it. <laughs> So Joker Foley Adu is Todd Phillips' sequel to his famous film Joker, the first R-rated film to ever break a billion dollars, and yes, the sequel that really nobody wanted. I think that's one main reason why this film is getting such negative reviews is that after watching that first film, like when that first film came out, I don't think anybody envisioned seeing a sequel to that film so i think that's why that there's a one huge reason why this one's gets such negative reviews and because this one is vastly different in terms of tone and the way they handle the story i think the themes are kind of similar in both films but in terms of the tone and the way they tackle them it's completely opposite from the previous film so let's start out with some positives right away is that i think my favorite standout huge positive with this film is the use of lighting and cinematography this film is freaking gorgeous there are so many shots in this film that the lighting is used to expert perfection and the way that the film is the way the scene is lit and the way the characters act and everything and like i said the cinematography like todd phillips and them like oh god it just like i said is completely gorgeous and fantastic to look at and just especially on the big screen there are so many scenes where just the makeup and the way it looks and the way you know Joaquin Phoenix is dancing or the way Lady Gaga is like lit softly like when she's looking at him after she kisses him and then you see like the makeup kind of on her lips like oh, there are so many uses of lighting that I find quite fantastic Another thing is the performances. We have Joaquin Phoenix in here, Lady Gaga. I think they both knock it out of the park. They do what they were asked to do. People might not like their characters or the execution of the writing of the characters, but they were they did what they were asked to do and they portrayed these types of characters and what was, you know, asked of them from the writers and directors and I think like I said they knocked it out of the park we even have some returning characters like Gary Puddles from the previous Joker film and I think that is probably stand out one of the best scenes in the movie so I think in terms of side characters lead actors that pretty much across the board the acting is very strong in this movie I also brought up the whole theme and like said themes with being in the previous film I think this film has themes in it that follow up on that first film with being that you know we have Arthur Fleck and he discovers that he tries to be the Joker and wants to be this character and thinks that that is part of him and he can be and let go of himself and let parts of himself out that he wasn't able to and kind of starts like a movement in that first film but that's not really what he intended to do he doesn't really care about anything he's more about just Arthur Fleck as a person he more just wants to be seen he wants to be loved and in the second film it's really the repercussions of that it's you know the guards views of him uh, late, late Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn's view of him, his district attorney, the def or the defense attorney person that's trying to defend him in court. It's her view of him. So, it's really like this whole character study of what is everybody's perspective, who they think Arthur Fleck is, who they want him to be, and how Arthur doesn't really know or doesn't really want any of that. Another thing that I like about this film is the pacing. I don't think this film is too long or anything. I think it actually is the length that it needs to be, but I think there are some mixed and negatives we're going to get into. But like I said, I think this film has a good pace. And by the time you get to that third act, like me and my wife, we went to go see this. <laughs> but like, even though everybody told us not to go see it, like even uh, my mom and my daughter, like she took my daughter out to go see it and they went to go see it before us. And even some family members of mine were telling me not to see it. 
friends of mine online were telling me not to see it. People on YouTube were bashing this film. So this is one of those movies, but a lot of people, they might not know me, that if the more negative stuff I hear about films, the more I want to see it, i.e. like Eli Roth's Cabin Fever, when that film came out, everybody was bashing that and trashing that movie. I went to go see it in theaters, and I had a fantastic time, and I still think Cabin Fever is an amazing film. So Joker, fully a do. Like I said, I don't think this film is without any negatives, but I think it is a good sequel that I think no one really saw coming. No one really wanted it or didn't think we needed it, but I think it does follow up on themes from that first film, and Todd Phillips kind of, like I said, crafted this perfect sequel that we never really wanted. Now let's get into some of the mixed and negatives for me because, like I said, this wasn't a perfect film for me. I do have problems. I think my wife really enjoyed this film a little bit more than me. In terms of negatives, I want to say the musical element of this film. I do like musicals. I'm a fan of musicals. I like West Side Story. That's my absolute favorite musical. I like Rocky Horror Picture Show, Hairspray. So I understand what musicals can do and what that purpose means for the story. But I think this film has one too many song sequences in it. And I think the songs, I wanted more just actual songs that were more ones that were written for the film, not just songs that they were rehashed or something. I wanted more original songs, and I think there was one too many song sequences and musical elements in the, in the film. I wanted more character stuff, more diving into the the actual psyche of Lady Gaga and, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's character, so I'm going to get more into that with this next negative, is that I think Harley Quinn's character, yes, I think Lady Gaga knocked the performance out of the park, but I don't think they used her character correctly. She's there for a purpose of that it's a complete kind of flip narrative of what we normally see the relationship between Joker and Harley to be. This In this movie, it's a complete flip of that, where we usually see Joker as the more dominant figure in the relationship. It's more Harley serving him. In this film, it's the complete opposite. Todd Phillips just flips it on his head, and I don't think he necessarily hammers that theme home by the time we get to the third act when they meet each other in the third act. I wanted a little bit more potent emotional moment to happen when that sequence goes down. Another negative that I have with this movie is that it's going to be is this is not going to be a film you're going to rewatch over and over. I liked this film and I have positive things to say about it. You heard all those positives I have, but I can tell you right now when you hear the score that I'm going to give it, the reason it's going to get that score is that this isn't going to be a heavy rewatchable type film. This is a film that takes a very dark tone, a very dark theme. It follows up on that first film and it is in, in essence a tragedy, a very tragedy driven type film and a lot of people don't want to take that journey all the time, you know what I mean? Some movies you want to have fun with the tragedy, you want to poke fun at it. This isn't one of those movies. This is really a movie that is a character study and a very deep tragedy about Arthur Fleck and his, you know, and what people view him as and his struggle to find out who he really is and also find love. These are just my thoughts and my opinions on Joker Folly Adieu. Please let me know down below in the comments section what did you think of this film? Are you planning on seeing it? In terms of recommendations from me before I even get to my rating, I would say this is one of those films that I suggest streaming because I know in terms of the way it's designed for the audience that it's targeting, this isn't a mass-wide, audience-pleasing type movie. That's not what it is. This is a movie that is much more artful than people are giving credit for, or giving it credit for. So, like I said, this is film. This is a movie that I would say wait for streaming. Don't go out and spend your money unless you really are into DC. You really like Todd Phillips and you want to see where Joaquin Phoenix and him take this character. Then definitely go see it because I think it's worth the theater experience. But if you're just a fan or like somebody who's just like, oh, I don't really, I'm not into the first one or I really like the first one. Let me see what's happening with this one. I would suggest wait for streaming. But Joker Fully Ado in my book is going to get a 7 out of 10 for a rad rating. Like I said, that rating reflects the fact that I think there is some mishandling with some of the story elements and some of the music elements. I think one, two less songs. I wanted some better songs in it as well. But the performances, the cinematography, the lighting off the charts. And I think what Todd Phillips was trying to craft with the theme and following up on that first film... 
I think this film does a, a, fan, a really good job. But please like the video, that definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video because that's how you stay up to date on all stuff that I post on the channel. Music, movies, TV shows, rankings, anything that I drop. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.